When you think of tailgating drinks, you usually think of beer, but what if you're more of a cocktail person? Lucky for you, our friend Nick Britsky is here to show us how to make some delicious drinks for your tailgate party. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. Always nice to see you of and representing your Spartan pride yeah, here. Yeah, go green. There you go. All right, so let's let's start off over here. I love this. This is like <laughs> Bloody Mary on steroids. <laughs> it's a little Martha Stewart. I totally get it. But the thought is, you know, the Bloody Mary is like the quintessential customizable cocktail. Yeah. So really, you do whatever you want. You don't need a bartender. You just need this great spread to make whatever fits your fancy. I love this. You guys, look, he even has little um, triangles of grilled cheese. I stole that from HGTV, just to be fully honest. <laughs> this is so cute. You've got bacon, carrots, of course, olives, cheese. I am gonna, I'm gonna sample this. Yes, this please. This is and like I got a an straw entire for you. meal. It's a meal, right yeah. Here. I mean, I've seen some crazy ones where they put like fried chicken in there. <laughs> they put eggs. I mean, it's really whatever you want. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool is bacon. So bacon can fall apart mm -hmm. in the cocktail. So if you put a skewer through it and bake them, it's like a little like bacon on a stick. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so we are getting into some uh, game day drinks, though. You've yes. got something for, for both sides Of here. course. Yeah, you have to have a drink on both sides. So with this, we did, um, you know, being the alma mater, mm -hmm. I did something for MSU. And we got some great uh, Red Cedar Spirits. They actually have a distillery near campus, which is cool. And so all I did here is this is like a wake-up cocktail. So we do two ounces of the Red Cedar bourbon. And we're just going to build it right in the glass. Okay. And then we're also going to add some Amaro. So Amaro is an Italian liqueur mm -hmm. that is really hot right now. So that's going to give the sweetness and a little more fun to the cocktail. And then, you know, for a nice morning drink, even though it is a night game now, I'm used to, night, <laughs> I'm used to morning games. Something tells me someone's having a, a beverage right now. Of course. <laughs> we're going to top it with some coffee. Ah, so we got nice. coffee, Amaro, and whiskey. And um, put a little orange on there. And this is uh, good to go. Beautiful, thank you. And what do you love about this combination of flavors? Well, coffee's great. Coffee's bright, it wakes you up. The Amaro is sweet, it's fun, it's deep, it's a little bitter. Mm -hmm. And then the whiskey kind of rounds it out, gives you that sweet corn flavor, and it's a local product. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, now for, for your rivals, what do you for have For the rivals, well, you have to have something. <laughs> and I wanted to go with some great colors. So, oh, you know what, I forgot decorations. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Here, hold on. There we go. All right, so we got a little decoration here for the U of M table. Perfect. All right, so the cocktail I want to do here is we want a blue and gold. So blue curacao is a great product. Yes. It's sweet. It gives you those nice flavors. So we're going to build this in a little shaker. We're okay. going to do like, uh, like two-ish ounces. Okay. So we got that. And then for yellow, um, what I actually did is I cooked asparagus oh in water. Oh, so we okay. have asparagus water. So oh, that gives you kind of rounds nice. out the rest of the drink. So we're going to put that in there. You really put a lot of thought I into, did. Uh, I wanted into the, into the rivals exactly. for you. you a know? creative cocktail yeah. that it's, everyone will love. It's clear that you, you really want this to taste really good. <laughs> so here we go. Kind of looks like blue Kool-Aid. So um, want to give that one a whirl? All right. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a try with the asparagus water. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Probably I'll, tastes I'll like sugar. It. Yeah, it does. It does. I think I'll stick with the Bloody Mary. Yeah, absolutely. Actually. And so any tips, though, that you would have for people, you know, who are, a lot of people are really having parties even yeah. later tonight, so they do have some time to, to get prepared. Absolutely. So again, you know, giving a great spread for your audience is good, um, but also make sure that you have water, you have safe rides for people to get home. That safety is always key. Um, I love local. So bringing a great um, variety of local products. Stout is fantastic. They're mm -hmm. actually a local Bloody Mary mix, all the other products that are good. So, you know, it's just, it's all hospitality, making them feel welcome and at home. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And again, I, I love what you did over here on, on your green side. Absolutely. Yeah, and then there's you. Amira, he's showing you no love. I over know. There. <laughs> all right, Nick, thank you so much.